guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying some more US candy. This is from Amy and her lovely family. Don't mess with Texas. Ian, Amy, Liam, Owen, and Sloan Williams. And that is a photo of them there. It's a lovely photo. Photo isn't it? from 2017. So our boys are a lot taller now. That's such a nice photo, isn't it? Yeah. Howdy, Kate and Alex. My entire family loves watching your videos on trying sweets and treats from other countries. Our three boys like to see candies they've tried and if you like them or not. We truly hope you are doing well in this worldwide pandemic and that our Texas style box finds you in high spirits. Woohoo! We, we are, are in high spirits. spirits today, aren't we? <laughs> Here is the breakdown of what we have included. So they've sent this during the pandemic. So, so this yeah. is really new. So we really have finally caught up with our boxes. Go yeah. us! And we have started allowing boxes, but we're doing it um, much better this time. Mm. Only allowing a few boxes at a time yeah. because we just got so overwhelmed, didn't we? Yeah. But I can't believe we're over the we're over, over the, the other side. Yeah. I can't believe it. So this is fresh. I'm so, so excited. Texas Treats, Bucky's, is a famous Texas gas station we frequently stop at when on a road trip. The mascot is a beaver named Bucky, and it's a tradition to touch the bronze statue of him that is out front. Maybe not anymore because of COVID-19. <laughs> That's amazing. Of course, everything is bigger in Texas, so they have between 80 to 120 Gas, gas pumps, pumps. No. at various locations. You're joking. In one place. I thought they were talking about in total. I thought they were making, meaning locations, not actual pumps. <laughs> Me too. Inside the store, they have everything a common gas station would have, along with homemade fudge, barbecue sandwiches, 20 varieties of beef jerky, in-store made spice nuts, and rows and rows of treats and beverages. You can buy souvenirs like Texas-shaped cutting boards, coolers for camping, toys for the kids, blankets, and even beaver-branded bathing suits. You know, like BuzzFeed, mm. someone's gone and like taken photos and said, is it as all it's hyped up yeah. to be? And it looks amazing. And I really want us to take a trip there. That'd like the so food good. is crazy. You can get Going hot food Bucky's as for well. The first Time. Wouldn't that be good? Our most favourite thing to stop for is beaver nuggets. They have a classic plain flavour, but we've included a cinnamon version and the ultimate in our family's eyes, salted caramel. We always pick up a few larger bags when we stop in and keep them on hand in our pantry. I love that. You don't really get pantries in the UK Not unless much, you've got no. a pretty big house. Um, but mm. like houses in Texas do just seem generally bigger, bigger when I've yeah. seen people on YouTube. Texas millionaires are a staple in our state and are similar to turtles, but so much better. I thought they meant like rich people. Yeah, I thought they were talking. <laughs> I hear there's lots of rich people in Texas, so I really yeah. thought that. A little about us. We live in a suburb of Austin, Texas and absolutely love it. My husband works from home for a financial planning firm and I work from home as a recipe blogger. She's absolutely amazing. I follow her on Instagram and her page is just absolute goals. It's bright, it's fun, it's mm. colorful. She does 4th of July treat ideas, That's recipe so cool. ideas. And so her she's got Instagram an Instagram. Is my name is Snickerdoodle. And then she's got a blog under that name as well with recipes. So make sure you go follow her on Instagram and her blog. She is so lovely um, and she has so many awesome recipes. We have three wonderful boys, Liam 13, Owen 9 and Salone is 8. And they all love playing with Lego, doing trick shots, inventing and riding their bikes. Love that. Right, and do you want to know the best thing yeah. out of this entire what? letter? We also have a Britney Spaniel Poodle mixed puppy who we named... Britney Spears. Gracie Lou Freebush. Do you recognise that? Yeah, who is that? The name of Sandra Bullock's character from Miss Congeniality. Yeah, <laughs> that is so amazing. Wait, what? A Britney Spaniel Poodle? It must poodle. be a type of... A You've missed an absolute... That's a great name. Gracie Lou Freebush is a great she name. She could be called Britney. Could have called her Brit <gasps> Britney Spaniel. Britney Spaniel. Britney Spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> or something along yeah, those lines. Yeah, she's not in the photo, is she? Yeah. They seem like such a lovely family. Don't mess with Texas. Ooh, blue bonnets are the Texas state flower. They grow in the spring in fields and alongside the roads and highways. That's so funny because I've just been looking up when's the best time to go to Texas. Yeah. And um, it mentioned these. So do let us know down below, what would you say is the best time to visit Texas? and tell us why, because we would love to one day visit Texas. Yeah, and we also don't want to melt. 
So yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of Texas uh, Texans would say don't come mm. in that time though. Yeah, because I think the the popular times are like spring and then autumn. Autumn, because there's lots of fairs. I really mm. want to go to a fair. Okay, this box looks insane. Shall we start then with the Buckies? Are they savoury? We've got some savoury well, and then we've got it, some yeah. sweet and then we'll... Um... Oh, mesquite again. Barbecue. Loving this flavour. Can we start with dill pickle? Mm. Ooh, whoa. They're really, like, dark. Mmm. 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 Oh. This is really nice. I don't know. For me, food really brings back memories. And all of a sudden, I was just like transported in America. To where? To like, you know, when we've had grabbed lunch before. Mm. Oh, this is so good. And it comes with a pickle. You know where this has transported me back to? Where? A place called Kingman. Oh my word. When we're having sandwiches. Tiny little town. And um, it's like a town with a train track running through it. I'm pretty sure it was like on the way to Vegas. Right. I can't remember what state it's in. Anyway, went into this little cafe, I guess you'd call it. And we had a sandwich and um, the town was so small, we even met the mayor yeah. who was in the um, in the sandwich shop. And he was sitting on the other table and he heard our accent. It was like, oh, you're visiting. But that was the first time I remember getting like a sandwich. I think it was a tuna sandwich, but it literally had a whole pickle on the yeah. side. So my whole lunch tasted like that pickle. Don't you think that reminds you of Schitt's Creek? Mm. Because like we met the mayor. Yeah. Is it like in a tiny tropical, town? Yeah. Um, I really like the packaging, how mm. it's got like a strip around the front. Mm. Okay, 10 out of 10. These taste like a very natural dill pickle. Where it's mm. like, I really like the Lay's ones we've had. But these have almost got like a little bit of pepperiness. I really like the Lay's ones, but these have got something mm. else. And because they're kettle, they're crunchier. Mm. And they are packed with flavour. Mm. They are insane. Wow. 10 out of 10. Shall mm. I open the yeah. mesquite? Are we, am I saying that right? I think so. They were established in 1982. I'm loving how much flavour it seems to be on these. Very much so. Mm. And they're so crunchy, aren't they? Yeah. These are great. Mm. Really nice. These are sweeter than the last mesquite barbecue yeah. ones we tried. And they're not quite as in your face. Mm. You're a bit more mellow. Being mellow doing whatever it is you do with Monticello. Oh. Mm. I'll need to learn more Hampton lyrics. They are very good. How cute's the beaver? I love chips. Mm. Why Chris is the best thing ever? I know. So many times recently, I, I like jump for something sweet mm. and then I'm like, do you know what? I really could have just had a bag of chip mm. crisps instead. You know what I mean? I think I could give up chocolate, but I couldn't give up crisps. Oh, I, I don't think I could ever give up crisps. Now we love jalapeno crisps. It depends though, how spicy do you think they'll be? I don't think they'll be really spicy. So they've not actually tried these. Guys, you're gonna have to get them next time you go to Bucky's. I wonder how close one is to their house. I don't know. Well, they've got loads of locations, so. Mm. They've actually just moved house. So we hope you're all nice and settled in your new home. <laughs> it's singing to me. Is it? Uh-huh. They're not cute. No, they're okay for me, actually. Mm. Very nice flavor, but spicy. <laughs> really good, 10 out of 10. Yeah, all of those are just 10 out of 10 mm. for the flavour, but I can't get over those dill ones. We've had some really good crisps lately, haven't we? Yeah. Really good. Right, we've got some Snack Factory pretzel crisps. We've tried Snack Factory before, but I'm not sure if we've tried this flavour. It's the everything flavour, I think. And uh, I feel that star. that's, um, you say that with like on a bagel, everything bagel, yeah. isn't it? To do Does with the seeds. Does that mean like all the seeds? I and... think so. And then we've got some Ritz toasted chips. These are sour cream and onion. Let me try spinach oh, ones. Yeah. Spinach and herb or something. And then what I'm super excited about are these Gardettos. They're just the rye ones. You know when the Chex Mix? The Chex Mix. They're the rye bits. Are they? People told us you could buy them individually. That's cool. Well, it'd make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, my tongue is singing. Mine's got a little sizzle. Yeah, because in Trader Joe's, you can get like a seasoning called everything but the bagel. I don't know if they have everything but the bagel seasoning over in the UK, but these everything- Oh, is that literally what they're saying? You've you got it right, yeah. 
but these everything pretzel chips are a fun snack. We don't get that over no. here. No. Because you know when I was with Taste Made and, and we were doing And last time those... you were in America, I meant to get you to get some. Oh really? Mm, I forgot. Cause that'd be nice to pour over something. Mm. They're really good. That'd also be a really good beer snack. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, mm. that'd go great. She's just confirmed. In another video you posted, you mentioned you only like the rye chips out of the Gardetto snack mix. So do you remember we tried mm. the Chex mix and then, and we, then had... we tried those. Mm. So here's an entire bag with just those. Garlic. Garlic rye. Which one did you want to open next? Rip. And these are a family favorite. Heaven. Wow, these are insane. Mm. What an awesome flavor. What a great idea. Mm. I can't get over how amazing these are. Mm. First of all, I love these Ritz crackers, but adding sour cream and onion flavor mm. to it is just brilliant. Because these are like flattened Ritz, aren't mm. they? That would be insane. With that jalapeno jam mm. with some cream cheese that we were sent. Have we still got any? I think we've got a little bit because we like didn't want to finish yeah. it, if that makes sense. But rather than it getting ruined, we should, should we just enjoy it. it. We can do, yeah. Let's try another. Mm. We're trying this with the Pepper Lane, the original jalapeno preserve. We, we have absolutely the tiniest love this. bit left. Yeah. If anyone loves us so much, they'd like to send it to us. <laughs> please do. Failing that, just buy some yourself. It's so good. Yeah. A few people actually said they bought it. So this is from the lovely Melanie. So thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers. Heaven. Not the same. So good. That is just insane. That jam is just incredible. Mm. Although someone messaged to say that they bought it because they're not that good with spice, but I said it wasn't spicy. Yeah, it wasn't spicy. But they said it was spicy. They must be really bad with <laughs> spice. <laughs> but I'm wondering if- If you um, think something isn't spicy and someone else thinks it's spicy, <laughs> we've got a problem. I'm wondering though- St Don't even look at a pepper. I'm don't wondering even though look if different at the batches Maybe, have different yeah. heats. Did they definitely get this this one? I think so. Mm. This stuff's like liquid gold. It is liquid gold. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, heaven. And considering when we first tried it, we didn't think we'd like it. Mm. Mm. Oh my word. That's so good. Mm. I knew it was good, but I forgot it was that good. It's funny, was it anyone else? When you got a jar of something really good, like hold on to that last bit. Yeah. And then sometimes it would end up just going bad. Just enjoy it. <laughs> It's like when I so almost ran out of the Smucker's Jam, mm. but then Alan Paula bought me some more. Oh, okay. them. oh I'm in heaven. Mm. This has all been so good so far, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Do you open these right? Yeah. Before I fill up on Ritz crackers. So, at Gardetto's, the passion for what we do has always been about the little things. It all started in the gar. Detto's Bakery in 1932, where the signature family recipe seasoning was perfectly crafted and came to define the delicious Gardetto's taste. And because of the overwhelming love you've shared for our double roasted rye chips, we baked up this special request snack of only your favorite crunchy garlic pieces, special request. So many people say these bits are their favorite. Really? Mm -hmm. And the Chex mix too. That's so interesting, isn't it? Because I think if they weren't so popular in the mix, I don't think a snack like this would look very appetizing no. to me. I love that it's got the old photos. Mm. Don't you think that would be nice as like a crouton almost? Mm. Over a soup. salad or soup. Mm. Yeah, so good. Mm. Mm. Turn out my I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. While we've got, um, I still got my tea that's warm. Should we get onto chocolate? Yeah. I'm really interested in trying the uh, Mrs. Cool's. Oh my God, they look here. absolutely amazing. Okay. She says, Mrs. Cool's chocolate sea salt caramels are capital letters, the best. I always order a few boxes to keep on hand to give out as little gifts. Oh, that's so nice. I only had dark chocolate on hand, but the milk are my favorite. They have milk ones. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sometimes with salty caramel, yeah. it's nice to have dark. Mm. They are a Utah-based company that actually acquired your new favorite chocolate last year, Utah Truffles. What does acquired mean? Like took over. So they, they yeah. 
That's who I, I was looking at this and I was thinking it, we, like... it looks similar to something we've already had, Utah truffles. Yeah. I bet you they do loads. Oh, wow. Well, doesn't that like, look fancy? Because this might be a bigger brand and they've brought them like on board, but they could either bring them into the brand or they could keep oh, them separate. Oh, I see. Mrs. Cool's have yeah. acquired Utah truffles. Okay, the secret of Mrs. Cool's famous caramels and chocolates comes from an old recipe dating back to the 1920s. Mm. Much has changed since then, but our recipe and dedicated quality have not. The center is topped with sea salt and smothered in our signature dark chocolate. The results will make you smile. Take a bite and find out why. It's soft caramel, apparently. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look, you can actually like see. You can see there, see can't what? you? The sea salt. Oh, yeah. Like actual crystals. And look inside. Cheers, Cheers. Sarah. Too excited. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. How many come in a bag? Does it look like many? Oh, quite a few actually. Oh, yeah, really. Mm. Enough that if you ate them in one go, you feel a bit sick. <laughs> I was meaning to share them out. Mm. Do you know what? I actually don't mind that dark chocolate. Sometimes you need it, mm. don't you? I'm sure it's great with milk chocolate, mm. but I feel like you need the dark chocolate to kind of balance out the flavour. What a great idea to have those as little gifts. Mm. I would have another one right now if we didn't have all this other stuff to try. This is Pangburns, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Pangburns of um, Texas, aren't they? Who are part of the same company as Russell Stover. What, they're actually part of that company? I'm pretty sure. Oh, so this is a little bag of caramel goodness. Goodness, yeah. Oh, this Did is Texas that? size. Oh, wow. Oh, because this is Big Bite. And this is and Texas, Texas size. size. Ah, so this one here is the original made with honey. So it's pecans and honey caramel and milk chocolate. Mm, I don't think we've had that one, have we? I don't know if we have, no. And so how many grams is in a Texas sea size? 57. Oh, so is this. I, but I love that they've just called it Texas It's probably because it's Texas. sold in Texas. Oh, just feel how big mm. that is. And then what's that? This is a Bucky's milk chocolate caramel with sea salt. Ooh. Ooh, you know the way to our Well, heart. should we start with that so we can always yeah. compare it with the Mrs. Yeah. Wow, that's like just one big... One. It almost looks exactly the same. This looks like milk chocolate as well. Milk chocolate, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we'll actually get to see if you prefer the milk chocolate or yeah. not. Which side do you want? You can have that one. If you like more salt, yeah. do you like the salt? I like the salt. This looks exactly the same if you ask me. Mm. Softer, softer caramel. Mmm. Mm. Salty goodness. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. What one do you prefer? I might prefer the Bucky's, you know. I think I prefer the Bucky's. Mm. Do you mean the caramel inside? Yeah. Or the whole experience? Caramel inside. Mmm. I do like the dark chocolate. This is also really good with milk chocolate. It's better with milk chocolate than I thought it would be. Mmm. I think I'm going Bucky's. Mmm. Which is good news, so then yeah. when we go, we can stock up. Very good news. Can we try the um, Big Bite Millionaire? Mm -hmm. This is where there's a lot of millionaires in Texas. Wow. It is kind of like the mm. Pecan Delight. Is it Pecan in that? Yeah. Oh I just love so the shape of it. I love it comes mm. like a little and ice hockey big. puck of... Oh mm. my word. That's pure bliss. Look mm. at that. I like that because you get a little bit of nuts, mm. but not too much. And I like the further you get into the middle, the thicker it gets. Oh, yeah. So with the extra sea salt, let's see how this is. It'll be interesting because with the Russell Stover, I actually don't prefer the sea salt. Yeah. The caramel seems harder mm. in this. Really nice. Mm. We're so lucky. Big fan of uh, hang bones mm. in Texas. Oh, my word. That was so good. So okay. Good. Do you think you would pick the sea salt or the normal? The sea salt. Do you know what? I don't know whether or not it's the bite I had, but the pecans or pecans tasted more... Um, earthy. Earthy. Yeah, but I like that. I actually preferred the less salty yeah, one. Yeah, if you want more caramel, the original is better, but the salty one, there were Brought more pecans, the, so yeah. it kind of had more texture and... Yeah, really good. So, absolutely amazing. But top for me is the Bucky's. Yeah, the Bucky's little salted like caramel. 20 out of mm. 10. Okay, so this is super exciting because mm. someone actually commented on our video the other day, did you know that they've now got Sour Patch Crush Edition? Oh, no way. So... That's Crush that's like the crush drink. That's like the drink. Well, that's she says really cool. here, these are one of Amy's favourites. 
Um, she said, the pineapple is to die for. We have a soda here called Crush with flavors like grape, strawberry, orange, pineapple, and they even came out with a peach one that's really good. Mm. So in a video recently, we tried the lime one. Yeah. Um, and we've also tried the pineapple one. So this is really this is awesome. This strawberry, pineapple, grape, and orange. Oh, that there. sounds so good. Um, but wow, a peach crush. Yes, please. Mm, so I want to try the yellow first. one. I love that it's pineapple because you don't often mm. get pineapple sweets. Oh, wow. Try the strawberry. So good. Isn't it funny that it's not um, cherry? Oh, my word. And pineapple is so good as well, isn't it? I think they're my favorite Sour Patch Kids. Mm. Me too. And last but not least, I included Sour Patch Watermelons because they're my absolute favorite and I know you love them too. Enjoy. So I think my top contenders for Sour Patch Kids, watermelon, the strawberries, those pineapple and strawberries. Mm. That's probably why I like the strawberries so much because it's in like the um, the mini strawberry ones. Yeah. They are absolutely insane. Should we keep them closed yeah. and enjoy them? They are 20 out of 10. So good. The best Sour Patch Kids. I've ever tried. Mamba? What's Mamba? Fruity Chews? All throughout middle school, grades six to eight, I used to love Mamba Fruit Chews. A mild flavour and kind of a cross between a Starburst and High Chew, the raspberry is my favourite. Oh, these are made by Stork. Oh, so like what where there's the originals? Oh yeah, where there's originals. And that ricin. Um, Reason. <laughs> these really- no, you say ricin, because that's a poison. Um, these remind us of Mawam Chews, don't oh. you think? Oh. That's cool. Because we get packs like this. Oh, with so Mal there's Am. like little packs. Yeah. Within this. Oh, that's really cool. So we've dull. got orange raspberry. Uh, yeah. As raspberry's her favourite, should we have raspberry? Yeah. And strawberry. That's cool. So you just mm. get three, three. Mini packs. So these are larger than Mawams. So look, these are Mawam blocks. Oh, that's cool. So they're very similar. So aren't they're they? very similar. These are longer, but the Mawam, they're practically the same width. Interesting. And um, so that's really interesting. It'll be interesting to see how they taste compared to these. I did actually put these in the um, candy box this did month, you? which reminds me, if anyone is looking to try some British treats or snacks, do check the link in the description box because we have tons of boxes that you guys can check out and try for yourself. Mm. Oh look, you can almost see like um, fruit in there. Mm. Mm. I like raspberry chew sweets like that. Mm. That's really nice. I can mm. see what she means. Quite like Starburst mm. and High Chew. It's a really nice natural oh, yeah, flavour. Like the yeah. These are the original mini Starburst unwrapped. I think that's such a great idea. And we can also try these sweet tarts. Ropes. Ropes. They're new Twisted Rainbow Punch. Mini Starburst are not really my favourite. I prefer regular size, but I love how cute and little they are. Well, they are cute, aren't they? So we've got lemon, orange, strawberry, cherry. Mm. Mm. Actually, the American ones are just different to ours. They do have like, they do seem to taste a bit different. Mm. I don't know if that's because they're small and I do wrap. like the fact you don't have to unwrap them each time. It's such a good idea mm. really, isn't it? From them. And I quite like that little bite size. Mm. My three sons love the sweet tarts, twisted rainbow punch ropes and have so much fun with the cookies and cream milk straws. What are they? Mm. We simply place them in a glass of milk and drink through them to get the flavour. We tried some of these recently, mm. but they weren't cookies and cream, they were mint. Do you remember? Yeah. I just don't think I've ever seen a bag of sweets so that flat. big. Like, I wonder why they went flat and big. Probably just so they're different from everyone else. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. They're darker than I thought they'd be. Well, that's because they're much lighter on the photo. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh wow, inside it's really like mm. sherbetty. Mm, it is, isn't it? It's like, oh, well, of course it's tart, isn't mm. it? Sweet tart. At first I thought they were going to be like those strawberry, what those straws are like with the white bit in the middle. Like a pencil. Yeah, I thought they were going to be like these, but they're more tangy, aren't they? Mm. And they've got cherry. What do you think to that one? Yeah, really good actually. Mm. It's interesting nice because- Nice and tart and- mm. It's more than just a plain one. It's got mm. a bit of a kick to it. No wonder you boys like it. It gives it something a bit more yeah. exciting, doesn't it? They're really nice. And, and rather than just being like one flavour, the rainbow punch, I think, yeah. really adds to it. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, look, it's actually like coming through, so it flavours the milk as well. Mm. Oh, wow, yours is really like brown. You like backwashing mm. it. 
I'm like sucking it up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, funk you up, sit up, down, funk you up. Oh, wow, I can really chase that now. It's better if you do that. Look how many of mine have gone already. Oh, yeah. Oh, I you think not put your lips over that bit. No. No. I don't get it. Isn't that better? No. Oh, wow, yeah. That's how I get the flavour. Mm hmm. Because I think when you're just doing hair, you're just getting the liquid. Yeah, I think you're right, Al. Mmm. Yeah, look how much mine have gone now. Oh, yeah, look at mine. And nothing's wasted, it goes into there. Yeah. I think because it's cookies and cream, mm. you don't Quite get loads flavor. of flavour. Whereas mm. that mint one was so powerful, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, an all nice chocolate though. one would be interesting. Yeah. It's a really good idea, though, isn't mm. it? Okay, what would you like next? Should we try this M&M? Yes. Chocolate thing. I've never seen one of these before. Well, it's funny you say that because I was about to say we have these in the UK. I I gathered that they'd have them in the US, but we don't have almond. We have a crispy version, hmm. a milk version, and a peanut version. Well, I haven't been out a lot in the last three months, but I've never seen one of them before. I went to M and M World. I bought them back, and we all tried them. <laughs> well, there and you that go. That was last year. That, that's how good they are. <laughs> let me um, let me show you what ones we have in um, the UK. Oh yeah, I do remember actually. Thank you. Well, that's two. No, they look different to ours. They've got really small squares. The chocolate definitely yeah. tastes different to us. Mars Wrigley, it does. Will it say USA? Yeah. This is worrying. Partially produced with genetic engineering. <laughs> is that the almonds? Not necessarily what you want to see on the back of your packet, is it? No, that's actually really good. I feel like that's better than I remember the ones you brought home. Not that I actually remember them. But I obviously wasn't that excited by it. What's really good about these bars is you've got the crunch of the M&Ms mm. and then you've got the crunch of the almonds and then you've got chocolate. It's really nice. Look, that's minis. It's M&M's mm. minis in there. We don't have the mini ones. The M&M chocolate bar came out last year and it's pretty creamy for American chocolate. Yeah, it is, Not as it? creamy and delicious as UK chocolate though. Mm. If you want to try our UK chocolate, we'll leave a link down below for our British candy box. Yeah. Okay, right. I don't know if you've seen this yet. What? I'm pretty sure we haven't tried these, mm. but Reese's Thins. Ooh. That's tiny, isn't like, it? Like, that's really clever. So, vote down below. Are you a Reese's Thin, Reese's Cup, or a Reese's Big Cup? Mm. Or Reese's Pieces Cup. Mm, that's me. Or Reese's Cookie Cup. Look how tiddly that is. I can't believe that. And it's, um, what's it called? Got no wrapper. Ooh, ooh. Maybe when really it's that melty. thin, you don't need a wrapper. Do you know what? I think I might mm. like this the most because there's more chocolate ratio to peanut mm. butter. Still really good though. Still really good. It's not funny, like I've got a full on beard now. Yeah. <laughs> You'll shake Carl. Oh, stop saying that. Hey, I'm vlogging here. I met him in Venice Beach. Gandalf. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. <laughs> you can say Gandalf Hagrid. as well. Hagrid. Hagrid. You look like More Hagrid. More like Hagrid than Dumbledore. It's probably true. He's... We do have a little bag here, which for some reason, I don't know why he's doing a separate bag, but it's the cutest thing ever. We've got some of those um, Chessmen minis, sweet and simple cookies. That's cool, isn't it? From uh, Pepperidge Farm. And then we've got a Nature Valley coconut butter. Biscuits with coconut butter in the middle. That's cool. But um, they're funny, so That's we can't forget about those. It's really sweet. Unless I'm wondering... that was going to be like a little lunch snack bag for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's to do with um, Ian's favourites because it says here, he's also a huge fan of the Nature Valley coconut butter biscuits. So should we do these first then? Yeah, go on. Chessmen minis. Is that because it's got chess pieces on? I guess so. I guess, could you play chess with them if you're in a pinch? Okay. We put some things like that in the snack box. Yeah. Oh, it's just one big biscuit with... Mm. That's actually really nice. It's the kind of thing I would never pick up. Mm. But when you have it, it's actually really delicious. Those cookies are so nice. The biscuit is so, like, grainy and nice. Like an oat. Like an oat biscuit. And then the creaminess of the coconut. The coconut isn't overpowering at all. It's just really nice, creamy flavour. Oh, that is nice. Mmm. That's really good. It's for those people who have a sweet tooth but aren't overly into something mm. sweet. These have got a lovely flavour mm. as well, haven't they? Mm. Like a lovely baked 
They are both Flavor. very good. Mm. Just a lovely sweet biscuit. Mm. Mm. Yum! We have technically tried these, haven't we? We have technically tried these, yes. So this is Amy's favourite. My favourites that I love are the Reese's peanut butter sticks, even though I know Kate is not a fan of peanut butter. She still sent them anyway. Yeah, because she knows you like peanut butter. Mm. Thank you. These are so good. I think recently in a video I said, these are probably the lightest version of Reese's you can mm. get because they're a lot of it's wafer. So you feel like you're eating a good amount. I can tell I'm maturing because mm. my least favorite things have been wafers mm. and peanut butter. And this is wafer and peanut butter. But it is a nice, delicious, light That's crispy one of my snack. favorite Reese's things. It is really good, actually. Mm. Nice and crispy. Mm. 10 out of 10 for you? 10 out of 10. Excellent. Okay, now we've got another little goodie bag, which is funny because you know how we... So Kit Kat in America, Kit Kat in the UK mm. are two different companies, yeah. even though they're called Kit Kat and look the same. But they're produced by someone else. Yes. Now we have Kit Kat Chunky. We've never seen it in America, but they finally come out with... Kit Kat Big Cat. So that's so, different, so isn't it? Because it's still like, trying to be in the form factor of a Kit Kat, but chunkier. But do you know what's crazy though? Is we have a Kit Kat Chunky and it's one single bar, mm. whereas this is two. Yeah, and this is Kit Kat Lemon, lemon crisp. crisp. We do get a Sorry. Lemon Crisp Kit Kat here, but in the snack aisle. This Easter Kit Kat just came out with Lemon Kit Kats. They're different and dreamy. My middle son's favorite chocolate bar is Kit Kat, so I included a Big Cat just fun. We've never had a Big Cat, so oh, this is really cool. I haven't seen you tried Reese's Thins before. Same taste, just less peanut butter. No, we haven't tried them, you're right. It's a similar logo, but it's yeah. just a bit more old fashioned looking. Yeah. Yeah, so look, this is a bit like a Kit Kat Chunky. It's literally like a Kit Kat Chunky, but you get two and it's and shorter. And it's broken into three pieces. Oh my word, it is a Kit Kat Chunky. How funny. It's not as good as a Kit Kat Chunky. No. Yeah, I was really looking forward to that big Kit Kat, but actually a little bit disappointed. Yeah, it, it doesn't help that because we have our own Kit Kat Chunky, mm. you play it off what you've yeah. kind of been brought up with. So it'll be interesting to know what you guys think of our Kit Kat Chunky. Yeah, and also compared to a normal Kit Kat, do you love the big cat? Does that make it better? Yeah. I really like a Kit Kat I Chunky. I like a Kit Kat Chunky. I also just really like a Kit Kat. But the Kit Kat Chunky, instead of it just being like a snack, it makes it like... A real full, it's like double treat. decker. It's like a real treat, in it. Oh, it's wild. Thank you. Chocolate. I'm pleased about this because our lemon crisp is milk chocolate, and I don't like it. Mmm. I kind of find the lemon with the chocolate a bit weird. Zesty. Mm. I think I prefer your lemon crisp to our lemon Kit Kat. Mm because it's white chocolate. Yeah, I think can see that. some companies are too afraid to do white chocolate, but when it comes to like zesty things, mm. I do think it needs to be white chocolate. Mum is gonna love those. Last but not least, we have the Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. Beaver Nuggets. Oh, we've got Beaver Nuggets and Snack Puffs. So it'll be interesting, they kind of look the same. Sea salted caramel, cinnamon sweet. Uniquely delicious, light and crispy corn puffs covered with a decadent caramel and bold sea salt coating. They're baked, not fried. You'll never guess what this says. What? Sweet and sassy. Uniquely no, delicious, light and crispy corn puffs covered in a sweet and cinnamon spiced caramel coating. They're baked, not fried. Look. Oh, you sassy pants. Sweet and sassy. <laughs> Love that. Sweet it? and salty. Sweet and sassy. sassy. Hi, Puff. Oh, these are going to be like those Trader Joe's puffs. Oh, yeah. These are delicious. These taste like golden nuggets. Like little churro puffs. These, <laughs> these taste like little churro puffs. Can I switch? Mm. Wow. The, the other day I was munching on some monkey nuts. They kicked me out the zoo. <laughs> you literally don't want that joke. But no. this was delivered better, wasn't it? Mm. Sea salted caramel. These are delicious. They're Which ones do you prefer? Hard to say. I think possibly the cinnamon. So for people who have never tried these, mm. it's like when you get popcorn, but you get the caramel ones. So it's it's like a puff inside, but like it's crunchy crispy on the outside, crunchy, on crispy, on the outside. crunchy. I think I might have to say the cinnamon ones might be mm. just topping it. the sea salt caramel. Mm. But they are very delicious and no wonder you get large bags when you go. They do yeah. really remind me of the Trader Joe's cinnamon puffs. Yeah. Beaver nuggets. That's I the think perfect little beaver name nugget. For them, isn't yeah, it? it's so good. 
Little beaver poos. <laughs> they could probably do little chocolate covered raisins yeah. to call them beaver drops. Yeah, yeah beaver drops, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they really do remind me of the Trader Joe's ones, but I think the Trader Joe's ones are less crunchy. Mm, definitely, yeah. So if you'd like more crispy, yeah. what are you going to say? No, you say it's more of like a butter kissed caramel outside, yeah. whereas the other ones were just sugared and cinnamoned on the outside. What are you going to say? Nothing, You're literally. like smirking, <laughs> ready for a joke. Anything. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway well that concludes that box mm. wowzers that was a pretty epic box yeah, wasn't amazing. it and it really does make me want to come to texas yeah just so we can go not just but just so, so we can, can do a whole food. entire video trying the bucky's food that would be amazing that'd be so wouldn't cool, it? Yeah. oh that'd be so good Amy, Ian, Liam, Owen, and Sloan, thank you so much for such an amazing box. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us try everything and see what we thought to some of your favorite items. And we hope you guys enjoyed our British candy that we sent back to you. If anyone else would like to try some of our British treats, we'll leave a link down below and you can go check it out. Yeah, it's a great way to support the channel and you also get some delicious British treats. Yeah, but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Did you enjoy that? I loved it, it was so good. Yeah, really, really delicious. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. See ya.